Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kelsey and thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I've got my boxy charm. So I just got home from work like 10 minutes ago and looked at my mailbox and my boxy charm was there. And I was very excited because I leave first thing tomorrow morning for a week. So like we're flying out 5 a.m. tomorrow morning to go to California, back home for like a week and I was really hoping I was gonna get this in time and it wasn't supposed to be here till tomorrow so I was kind of bummed but I was here today and I'm so happy so I haven't opened this yet can I open it? this is the totally boxy charm box it's like a 90s theme I think or it was like I don't know I feel like I saw a bunch of like mean girls and like clueless and their advertising, so I don't know. All right, first thing in, I got two eyeshadows from Ace Beauty, and these are single shadows. I literally like never use single shadows. These are their Glimmer Shadow. This one is in the shade Iced Latte, which the texture on here is super cute. Why are you not focused? And then this shade is Cotton Candy. Now I think there was two different like duos you could get. You could either get this duo which is kind of like a warm bronzy kind of color. And then there was one that was like a pink and a silver I think is what I saw. Um, so I'm going to give these a little swatch. Iced Latte and Cotton Candy. Ooh. Iced Latte. Cut, nope. <laughs> yeah. Iced Latte and Cotton Candy. Those are very shimmery. Very glittery. I don't know if I would honestly wear those all that often. Those are kind of like colors I don't really reach for. I like bronze. Um, I feel like I'm kind of over like the pinky gold, like rose gold kind of look. Um, it just, I feel like it doesn't go super well with my skin tone. But, I mean, I'll definitely try these out for sure. They are cute. Um, and they retail for, let's see, $25 for the duo, I believe. Next thing I'm super excited about, this is from Wander Beauty, and it's the Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. I feel like I've been getting a lot of skincare in BoxyCharm recently, and I'm okay with it. I've been enjoying getting skincare in BoxyCharm, because there's only so much makeup you can really, really go through. I mean, there's only so much skincare you can really go through, too, but I like the skincare side of things for sure. So this says, Minimum Effort, Maximum Results. Black Current Seed Oil. Niacinamide. Bring out skin's inner radiance with our illuminating oil. Light diffusing optics deliver instant luminosity while a potent blend of our signature beauty oils and antioxidants help brighten, moisturize, and improve the appearance of skin over time. Says to do two to three drops of glow ahead illuminating face oil on fingertips, massage into skin until fully absorbed. So it doesn't say if you should like use this before bed or like in the morning time oh okay it's not quite as like liquidy as I thought it would be it's definitely liquidy but it's kind of more serum -y. like face oils or like oil oils it has a scent to it it's definitely like a rosy scent and by rosy I mean like grandma old rosy kind of scent so we'll see how that goes. But again, I'm super excited to have some skincare. I would, I don't know if I wanna use this in morning or at night. There's not really like shimmer to it. I just put it on this hand. There's not like glitter or anything, so I don't know. Everything's very pink, by the way. It's cute. Oh, and the Wander Beauty Illuminating Oil retails for $42. Um, this, I didn't know what it was, so I had to look on the card. It's a lip liner from Steve Laurent, and it retails for $15. Um, this shade looks promising. Not gonna lie. Let's see, what shade does it say this is in? Chic. 
chic. I like chic. This packaging is cute too. I like the simplicity of it, just like the logo. It's cute. Yes! Mm. I love that color, so cute. I'm gonna put this on real quick because I don't have anything on my lips. I was gonna say at the beginning of the video, I'm gonna see if I can like get re-ready with any of the products that are in the box. So far, no. But this one, I'm gonna put on. It's, it's definitely a little scratchy. I'm just putting it on like I do lip liner, not like putting it all over. Um, I do bring it quite a ways up onto my lip, but not all the way. I'll just give my lips a little smack. It's a very dry formula for sure. Like there's not even like much coming off on my finger. That's not a 90s color. I don't really know what is. <laughs> it looks nice. But this year, this summer has been the summer of lip glosses. We've gotten so many lip glosses from BoxyCharm. I want to say I've gotten like three from BoxyCharm in the last few months. Um, but I do like lip liners. Lip liners I use often. And so I'm excited to have this one. I don't feel like I have a lip liner that's this shade. So I like it. Next is from Tarte, and I'm very excited to have gotten this. I've been so close to buying mascara, like, all the time. This is the Big Ego Mascara. I think this is a new product. I'm pretty sure this is, like, new to Tarte. Like, I don't feel like it's been around that long. Um, so it says it a, has a confidence booster brush. It says, twisted double fiber bristles for max pigment load. Lash Lovin' Ingredients. I thought there was more to that than just that. Nope. That was it. That was just two descriptions. Um, but I have really enjoyed Tarte's mascaras in the past. And so I'm really excited to try this. I don't know why I smell it. Mascara has an interesting smell. Um, nice big brush. It kind of reminds me of like the Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, but the packaging is really cute. Big ego. Fun. I'm excited to try that. And then the last thing in the box is from Becca. And this is the Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. And I am hoping I got this in the regular color. I don't see anywhere on here where it says the color. I know it was either like the... Oh, I did. Good. I knew it was either like the original color or like a bronze color. And... I'm not bronze. Uh, but this is the powder. I haven't really had many Becca products before, so I'm excited to give this a try. Keep me close to keep me cool. Um, I remember when this came out, like a few months ago. Maybe longer than that. I don't remember. I remember when it came out, and people were like losing their minds because it was a powder, but it like felt wet. So I'm really interested to try this. Super interested to see how it feels. Um, I'm going to do a little swatch on my hand. And then I'm going to apply some. Oh, weird. That is so weird. I You can't see it, but it does. It's like, what? It's so strange. I'm going to grab a brush and like put it on my face because I'm, I'm interested now. I like this brush for setting powders. It's from Illumin... Aste it's from Aesthetica. The writing is all rubbed off, so I couldn't remember where it was from. It's from Aesthetica. Um, I'm just going to dip in... Dip into the cap a bit. Oh, that is so weird. It feels like cool on the skin. Feels nice and refreshing. Okay, I need to see what this looks like. Because that was fun. Um, hmm. I feel like my face looks a little bit more like set into place. Uh, when I got home, I did take some like toilet paper and like 
get oil off my face but other than that I hadn't touched up at all throughout today and I've been out and about in the heat for like just about seven hours or so uh, interesting I'm so excited to try this more like I said I'm going to California this next week I'm going to bring this sucker with me that's a hundred percent um oh that tart mascara where's my little card here Tarte Mascara retails for $23, and then the Becca powder retails for $39. And the powder says it's an ultra translucent refreshing powder that dusts on like a mist and sets makeup to help extend wear. Dusts on like a mist. Like a setting mist? I can kind of see that, honestly. This weightless powder sets, perfects, and refreshes makeup for a silky, smooth, invisible finish. Formulated with 50% water, this powder makes skin look awakened and fresh upon application. Apply throughout the day to refresh and rejuvenate makeup, ideal for all skin tones. Cool. I'm so excited for that. I think it does look nice on the skin. Looks set, but not like cakey or anything, so yay. Um... I I feel like I keep going back and forth on dang BoxyCharm recently. Like every time before BoxyCharm comes, I'm always like, I don't need BoxyCharm anymore. And honestly, I don't. Like, I don't need to get five products every month. But like before it comes, I'm always like, uh, I'm not like super interested in like what's being shown on the sneak peeks. I don't need it. And then I get my box and I'm like, I love everything. And honestly, the last few months I felt like that. Like it hasn't been anything that I've been like super excited about. And then I get it and start using this products. And I'm like, I love this. I love BoxyCharm. I love everything about BoxyCharm. So quick recap. I got those Ace Beauty little shadows and iced latte and cotton candy. I am, while those aren't like those, these are probably my least favorite thing in here. They're not bad. Definitely not bad. And then the Steve Laurent lip liner. Um, can never go wrong with a lip liner. Becca powder I am super excited about. And then uh, the Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. Super excited to try that one. And then the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. Again, really excited to try this. So win after win from BoxyCharm. Thank you. If you've already gotten your box, I would love to hear what you've gotten in your box for this month down below. Um, or if you've tried any of these products before, I'd love to hear about your thoughts. Leave them down below as well. But thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I just wanted to jump on and open up this box because, again, I'm just super excited to try these products, maybe travel with a few of them, and then get back to you on how they went, which I will be back with a July recap soon. I'm going to do it separate again this month like I did last month. So if you're interested to see what I thought of my July box, stick around. It's coming in like the next week. But thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below because I would love to have you around. And until next time, bye guys.